Okay, so here is day three, and you can already tell it's not going to be a good day. Look at my face. Not happy. Um, it actually started off all right. I sewed down the collar of the blazer just to make it easier to sew the tinsel on to. Went great. I did some test strips with the arm fabric that I cut off, and it went really, really well. It definitely gave me a false sense of confidence and hope, but whatever. Um, here's a jacket. See? Cute. All ready to go, ready to be tinselfied. Is that a word? I don't I don't care. It's been a long day. All right, here's the tinsel. Tinsel's great. I have silver, I have gold. I got the little banner tinsel with a little sticky thing on it. Here's some fabric tape. Um, I use this to secure some of the tinsel down. And then I started sewing and it all went to shit. No matter what I did, tried like nine times, the sewing machine would rip the tinsel when I tried to sew it to the blazer. So I contemplated my, you know, existence as one does and regretfully decided to go to Michael's at five o'clock on a weekday in Canton. But little, you know, little inspo right there. Grabbed my keys, walked out the door, ready for this rush hour adventure, ready to give up my glorious parking spot, which was right in front of my house. It's fine. We'll survive. All right, so now we're at Michael's. Um, I originally planned to just get some t-shirts to see if I could, like, cut the t-shirt up the front in the middle and then um, glue, or not glue, we're not gluing, sew the tinsel on that way. But when I got to the t-shirt aisle, um, this was the selection. There were about three t-shirts, so not great. So I moved on to the fabric aisle right here. Um, I ended up picking some fabric that was like a little bit sturdier than a cotton t-shirt, just thinking it would give the vest some structure. I talked to the nicest woman, Terry, who helped me out with the fabric. She's making boat pillows. Terry, I hope your boat pillows come out fabulous. i rooting for you. And then I made the trek home, which only took, you know, 30 minutes to go 0.8 miles. Then when I got home, I did a test run with the fabric that I bought and tinsel, and it worked great. I opened a beer because I needed it. I found a vest pattern on Etsy for six bucks, printed that out, cut it out, started cutting the fabric, and now I am somehow in the process of hand making a vest for the first time ever, and I'm like totally not stressed about it. It's gonna be great. Um, yeah, day three. It is what it is. And yeah, here it is. Could have had a better day, could have had a worse day. See you tomorrow.